Hey guys, welcome to another tier ranking. Welcome to my tier ranking for Zac Efron's movies that I've seen. Yes, The Iron Claw is uh, coming out next week. I just got early screening for it and I thought I'd celebrate Iron, Cl Iron Claw and the amazing performance Zac Efron gives in that movie. I'm going to celebrate it by uh, doing a tier ranking. Um, I think Zac Efron is a very talented actor, and yeah, I thought, let's celebrate him by doing a tier ranking of his movies very quickly. And yes, there are a bunch of Zac Efron movies that I am leaving out because I haven't seen all his movies. Really, I have not. I know in the comments you're going to be like, where's this movie? Where's that movie? I'm going to just tell you right now. I don't need to reply to you. I can just tell you right now. I haven't seen it. These are all the ones I have seen. Just got to throw that out there. <laughs> and again, this is all opinion. S is the best. F is the worst. He is a good actor, but my God, does he have some stinkers. <laughs> um, all right, let's start with the uh, Neighbors movies. I think my freaking computer's dying. Let's try to make this quick. Uh, neighbors is decent. The first one is pretty good. Zac Efron, Seth Rogen, Rose Byrne. Rose Byrne, I think, is the best in this movie. I think it's funny. I, you know, this couple, the kid, you know, they live next door to a uh, fraternity. It's it's funny. It, it, it definitely gets less funny the more times you watch it, but it's it's not bad. It's pretty good. Um, the second one is pretty bad, actually. Um, I laughed a couple times, but when you watch it again, you're like, wow, that's a <laughs> really shitty sequel. I have unfortunately seen all the High School Musicals. They're not complete shit. The first two, I I would put them all in like a C. They're all just okay. Um, I just, like they came out when I was in high school, so I should be like the people that this is for. But I don't just I never got on board with it. I don't think they're awful movies or anything, but they're okay. They do what they 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 do their thing. <laughs> Charlie St. Cloud is not a very good movie. It's a very sad story, and I can tell Zac Efron is putting his effort into it, but it's just sappy melodrama with a really stupid twist ending. Just, it's not very good. Seventeen, again, is also not very good either. I'll go see, though, because it's kind of like maybe guilty pleasure. It's just kind of bad, good. I have fun with it. New Year's Eve is shit. It's a really shitty movie. Uh, all star. It's one of those like all star cast Gary Marshall movies during the holiday season. All the stories line up together. Yeah, who cares? Mike and Dave, really bad movie. Unlikable characters, unfunny jokes, just not good. <laughs> Baywatch, unlikable characters, not funny jokes. About the same. That awkward moment isn't that bad, actually. There's funny moments, there's some decent romantic chemistry, and I think Miles Teller and Michael B. Jordan and Zac Efron actually work well off each other. It's not that bad. The Paperboy was not a fan of. The greatest beer run ever. Like, it was okay. Like, I thought it would be a lot funnier and a lot more of an interesting story, but there's clever moments. Zac Efron is really solid in it. It's worth a one-time watch. I know, I'm like, <laughs> I'm just realizing, that, man, he actually doesn't have a lot of good movies. <laughs> Me and Orson Welles is a great fucking movie, though. Richard Lingler directed this movie. It's literally about an actor who is just, like, a gopher, and his idol is Orson Welles, and he gets to work with him. Zac Efron is solid. The direction is good. It's actually a pretty damn solid flick. Uh, Dirty Grandpa is not a pretty damn good solid flick, though. <laughs> The Iron Claw is one of my favorites of the year. This is the movie Zac Efron will be known for. Have how amazing he is in it. First Order, shit. The Greatest Showman, not a fan. Scoob, shit. The Lucky One, shit. Hairspray is it's not bad. I think it's okay. I love the Disaster Artist, but he's not very big in it, so I'll go B. So, wow, well, yeah, short list and uh, not a very strong list for Zac Efron, even though I, I actually like Zac Efron. I think he's a good actor. I just think he needs to pick better roles. 
So, Iron Claw, Me and Orson Welles are his best movies for the B. I'll go Disaster Artist, Neighbors, That Awkward Moment, High School Musical Movies, then The Greatest Beer Run, then Hairspray 17 again. For the D, I'll go Charlie St. Cloud. Sure. His Worst, Dirty Grandpa, Baywatch. New Year's Eve. I think New Year's Eve actually might be the worst. Yeah, there we go. Quick little tier ranking. Uh, go see the Iron Claw. Uh, Zach Efron's amazing. Uh, I know I should watch more Zach Efron movies, but who's got the time for that? <laughs> What's your favorite, least favorite Zach Efron movie? And yeah, comment below, let me know. And uh, please like and subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.